Hey guys, Mono here, and this is the new Capoletto expansion for Isonso. This expansion brings in a new map, which is of course called Caporetto, and it also adds the German army as a new faction, together with brand new weapons such as the Car 98, the Luger, or the comically large MG-08 machine gun. This new content is completely free, so you don't have to worry about buying anything if you already own the base game. I sat down to play this yesterday as soon as it launched, and I was actually pretty impressed with it, but before I go on, I should explain what this game is, for anyone that hasn't seen my previous videos on it, or just, you know, doesn't know the game at all. Isonso is a somewhat arcadey, hardcore World War I game that features period accurate weapons, so no dumb out of place prototype machine guns like you find in Battlefield 1. The game favors a relatively slow paced approach because you can't just go in guns blazing around a corner given the extremely low fire rate so it's best to find a good position to hold where you can take shots at enemies moving across open areas or around trenches. Being said in the Alps, the majority of the maps are extremely vertical and Caporetto is no exception. However, it does have a unique color palette to it, which makes it stand out from the other more green and grayish maps in the game. There's a dense forest, trench lines, and a beautifully partially destroyed town. And from a previous experience with the game, this seems like one of the best maps they have done. Some of the original maps had a bit of an issue of sometimes being too open, I think. So it could be really frustrating to move around the map without getting shot at and given one shot is usually enough to kill you, it could get old pretty fast. Caporetto has a nice mix of vegetation, rocks, structures and terrain features that generate enough paths with decent amount of cover compared to some of the other maps. At least that's what I got from the two or three hours that I played it. The German weapons are amazing. Pretty much every rifle in the game you have to spend your entire clip to be able to reload, but the Car 98 is one of the few ones, if not the only one, where you can load single bullets into, which makes it much easier to always have the most amount of shots that you need to push forward. The Luger is a very powerful and fast reloading weapon, and the MG-08 is more of a proper machine gun than weapons like the Bizarre Villar Perosa, or whatever it's called. You can actually use it a bit Rambo style for clearing out trenches, though it's more fun than it is effective in that role. It looks absolutely massive, like comically so. So, you know, it's it's just a, a bit dumb, but it's also a lot of fun. Once you go prone or crouch, the bipod is immediately deployed. And then it pretty much works like the fixed MGs that you can build around the map. So it's actually pretty effective once you find a good spot for it. It's a lot of fun to use. Unfortunately, you have to redo the progression challenges in order to unlock some of the new weapons for the Germans, which I found fairly annoying since I don't like these unlock challenges in general. I just think it would be better that you unlock stuff organically through XP that you get for playing the game and being good at it than needing to land a specific number of headshots or shovel kills or whatever it is. But on the other hand, it kind of makes sense not to make all the new weapons available right away and lock them behind, you know, some progression system. So yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that though. I really enjoy the new map and the new weapons, so if you haven't played in a bit, now's the time to jump into the game. Unfortunately though, I couldn't find a way to create a custom match that would only play the Caporetto map over and over again without cycling through other older maps. So after each round, most people would leave to go find a different server that was running Caporetto, which was a bit annoying because you would end up playing with a lot of bots instead of people. And you know, I wish there was a way to make the map run constantly but I couldn't find a way if there is a way then it's pretty obscure because I also couldn't find other servers doing the same thing it seems like a big oversight I hope they add a feature like this in the future as I mentioned the game has bots so it's not this super milsim experience or a super competitive game either the bots have been tweaked and feel much better than they did at launch fortunately before they used to follow very much the same path around the map and have either no aim at all or 100% auto aim to your head but now they feel a bit more varied in terms of their shooting skills and their behavior sometimes however it does turn into a shooting gallery which 
can be either good or bad depending on what it is that you want from this game. So that's it guys, great new update to this extremely fun little game. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. As always, thank you for watching and I hope I will catch you in the next one.